Happy Book Talk Tuesday. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I have a new look. I finally went and got my hair cut after uh, almost five months. I don't think I've ever gone that long without getting my hair cut. I feel like a whole new person. Anyway, it's great. So uh, I wanted to tell you a couple things today. So I think there's hair like from my haircut like on my face still. Sorry. Uh, a couple things. So back here, I've got this pile of books. So every summer I have a pile of books that I want to read for the summer. Usually it's like two piles of books. And then I move things over to the what I have read and I take a picture at the end of the summer. Um, I have read more books than this. Actually two of these, two of them I listened to and I just put them over there because I had them here. Um, I've read more but I have been passing books out to friends and neighbors that need books over the summer. Uh, and since, you know, March, since spring break, I've been passing out books to people, so um, there's a few more. But I love at the end of the summer to see how many books I actually read, and I it just it's exciting to me. Um, we're about to start a new school year. We have a couple more weeks before school starts, and or maybe three. I don't know. Uh, the days are running together. Um, this is a great time for you to challenge yourself and decide. I, starting in August, am going to read this many books between then and December, or maybe this school year, you want to challenge yourself to read a certain number of books. I, I mean, it doesn't have to be one book a week or even one book a month. You just challenge yourself to read a little bit more than what you read before because kids who don't read lose reading skills. Adults who don't read lose reading skills. Um, I, I know a lot of adults who say, ah, I don't like to read, I don't have time. It's just, I, I'm a slow reader. Well, I used to be really slow, I, and I still kind of consider myself a slow reader. But the more I read, the faster I get at it. I am faster, I'm a faster reader now, today, than I was a year ago. Just because I've been, well, I've been reading a lot of books this past year because I've been at home. But just the more I read, the, the faster I get at reading and the more books I finish, which always is surprising to me. I don't know why. Um, kids who read all the time do better on standardized tests. And I don't like state tests. I don't like standardized tests, but we have to take them. I mean, I had, don't know how many I had to take to be a teacher and then I had to take some to be a librarian. I had to take some to get into college. I mean, you, I, I had to take some when I moved to a different state so that I could teach in that state. So, um, and right now I have a person in my house who is taking driver's ed online. So she has to read everything. So even if you don't like to read and you think I'm not going to be taking tests, I mean, there's not stuff I'm going to be doing. Well, you might want to drive and you're going to have to read for that. And then when a, whatever job you get in your life, you're going to have to be reading. And so, um, why not just be good at it? And the one way to be good at it is to do it. And you don't have to read some big giant long book. You can read The Lunch Lady. I, I'm reading this next. I haven't read Lunch Lady. Can y'all believe this? Uh, if I did, it was a long time ago. So you can read Lunch Lady. You can read um, picture books. You can read nonfiction books. I told y'all about this last week. I was going to read Gabby Garcia. Y'all, baseball started and I was all excited. We had three games and then they stopped. <sighs> I wonder if it's on tonight. I need to check. Okay, hopefully. Anyway, this Gabby Garcia book um, is an illustrated novel. It's considered an illustrated. I'm trying to find you some pictures. Yeah, there we go. So there's pictures throughout the book. There's different kind of fonts. Um, so Gabby uh, just got transferred to a new school because her school, sorry, I'm serious. There's hair all over me. Uh, her school has asbestos and they had to close down immediately, clean it out. And everybody in that school got shuffled around town to all the schools in town. So Gabby was like the star pitcher on her team and she goes to this new school and she just, she's gonna be the star pitcher there. And she knows she's better than everybody there and she knows they're gonna come asking her to be on this team. And um, those things aren't happening and Gabby has a little bit of an ego where she thinks she's better than everybody else. And maybe she is, maybe she is, but she should not be acting that way. I mean, really? That's not a good way, that's not a good first impression. So. Uh, hopefully Gabby learns learns about you know making a good first impression and about um, being humble um, because she's not gonna be on any team after this if she keeps this up uh, anyway it's good and I'm enjoying it and then I get my baseball because I couldn't watch it yesterday um, sorry I got off on a tangent anyway any book that you're reading it does not matter 
But if you have not been reading all summer long or even maybe last at the end of last school year, you just decided to take it easy, um, you're going to struggle. You're going to have trouble when school starts. So I'm saying right now, now, start now. You have time. You have time. So start reading. You can even um, check out the audio book from the public library and have the actual book with you. Actually, check out both from the public library. And then you can um, read along with somebody reading to you. Um, read to your little brothers and sisters. Let your older brothers and sisters read to you. Your parents would probably really like to read to you if you are older, like third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. My, I mean, I would love to read to my high schooler. I, well, both of them. My senior, I'd like to. Actually, she would let me. Anyway, um, so what I wanted to tell you today is you need to be reading. Just read anything. It doesn't matter because um, it it takes your mind to places that are are way better than what we're dealing with right now. I can tell you that. Um, and it also makes you aware of things that are going on in your world. Uh, I did read out of my mind again, like I told y'all I was going to do. Uh, still fabulous, still at the very top of my list. Still, I think everybody on the planet Earth should read this book. Uh, if you haven't, you should. Sharon Draper is an amazing, amazing author. I told you that already, but I'm going to say it again. All right. You guys have a great day. Go read lots of books. There are so many waiting for you. The public library is open. You can just go online and hold things and just show up and they'll deliver them to your car probably. You guys have a great day. Um, I will see you next week.